What is it like to ride over 100 kilometers of scenic gravel in Vermont? In this video, we visit the Bridge of Flowers and Light, Chester Arthur State Historic Site, two covered bridges, quiet country towns, and ride the Lamoy Valley Rail Trail. In this video, we cover day three of our four-day gravel adventure in northern Vermont. If you haven't seen the first two, I put links in the description below. If you drink coffee right after you eat the Pop-Tart, it warms the Pop-Tart up. <laughs> There you go. Today's plan is to uh, go visit the Chester A. Arthur Homestead on our way to the um, end of the Lamoy Valley Rail Trail, or the end that's still open after the flooding. Uh, work our way down to Cambridge Junction and then follow the Lamoy Valley Rail Trail back up the Sheldon Junction. And for the final time, Mike and I will ascend that massive hill to the campground. Hopefully, the weather is better today than it was yesterday. We left Lake Carmi State Park, our base of operations for this adventure, and headed to the town of Enosburg Falls. The first part of the day's adventures was to visit the Bridge of Flowers and Light. We rode 7.5 miles from camp with five miles on pavement and two and a half on the Missisquoi Valley Rail Trail. We're uh, back on the Missisquoi Valley Rail Trail. We're gonna take it to Enosburg Falls before we take some uh, paved roads hopefully up some big hills to get to the Chester A. Arthur historic site. Today is going to be like 56 or more miles of riding. There's a road called Duffy Hill that we're all really looking forward to. Good morning. Bridge of flowers and light. Once a natural falls over bedrock, the falls is now formed by a dam that spans the Missisquoi River. Definitely a fantastic stop. If you are riding on the Mississippi Valley Rail Trail and you don't head down a mile or two off the trail to see this, you're really missing something. The second objective of the day was to visit the Chester Arthur State Historic Site. The seven miles to reach it would include our most challenging climbs of the trip. After leaving the falls there, we're heading up Duffy Hill. Supposed to be a lot of climbing. So far, I'm really enjoying it. So Mike tells me we got another 400 feet to go. Thanks Mike, appreciate it. I want you guys to know that I stopped for some photos. I wasn't that far behind. 9% grade. All right, still climbing, but now it's dirt. Just a reminder, we're still on Duffy Hill Road. When he was born, we do think it was 1829, because that's there were three family Bibles showing that he was born in 1829. Who's that guy in the middle? I think oh, that's, that says, I think oh, that's Grant. It says Grant on his home. Oh, oh, okay, oh, yeah. So he that, looks that a, he cool. looks a lot like Ian. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> he does. <laughs> the next objective was to stop at the Puddle Duck Grill and Scoop for lunch and ice cream. and downs as we leave Chester A. Arthur historic site which was really cool and the woman who did the talk there really knew her stuff. We're heading off to East Fairfield and hopefully the uh, food truck because we're pretty hungry right now. A uh, small garlic plum fry. We're about 19 miles into the ride. We just finished the kind of the gravel road portion. We're back on the rail trail. 
grabbing something to eat in East Fairfield at this food truck. Hawaiian burgers. It's going to be good. Slight chance of showers for the next three hours. Cookies and cream. Yummy. Is that the default to cone? You know what? Is that the default that you, uh... I didn't ask for any specific color cone. I just got pink. While in town, we also checked out the village of East Fairfield. Rooster up, look out for the rooster. Clear. The East Fairfield Covered Bridge was built in 1865 and is 67 feet long. Ian, thanks for riding with us, man. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Let us know when you get to Portland, send us a text, you know, like, miss you guys, wish you were here, something like that, you know, <laughs> so we know you're safe. <laughs> like, thank God I got away from you guys. <laughs> no, it was a good trip. This is south. We were sad to see Ian leave, however, the weather did improve upon his departure. The next objective was to ride the Lamoy Valley Rail Trail to Cambridge Junction. The LVRT occupies the former railroad corridor of the St. Johnsbury and Lake Champlain Railroad. The railroad operated under various names from 1880 to 1994. The surface of the recently completed LVRT is not as well packed as that of the Missisquoi Valley Rail Trail. It will require more energy to traverse unless you are riding an e-bike as many folks who passed us were. From East Fairfield to Fletcher we follow and cross the Black Creek over a dozen times. The valley here is beautiful with endless views of the mountains to our east and west. Our next objective was to ride the LVRT to Cambridge Junction. Here we found a cool railroad themed trailhead sponsored by Smuggler's Notch Resort. From this point east, the trail was closed. This will certainly give us reason to return someday soon. As I explained in part one of the series, recent flood damage south of here was still being repaired. These interesting historical placards were provided by the Cambridge Historical Society. We got about 30 miles in so far and we've reached our southern point. Uh, we got to get back to the camp tonight. It's going to be about 56 miles. We're looking for some water before we head back. Cambridge Junction Cover Bridge was built in 1887 and is 153 feet long. We took a short ride on the Cambridge Greenway, another rail trail, into Jeffersonville for some beverages and snacks. So we're uh, heading into town. It's about a mile from Cambridge Junction to uh, Cambridge. Trying to get some water here, but we're riding on the a different rail trail here. I forget what the name of it is. I'll let you know when I figure it out. But it's uh, on the old Burlington and Lamoy Valley Railroad that went from Cambridge Junction on into Burlington, Vermont. Uh, of course, the trail itself doesn't go quite that far, but it could. Maybe someday they'll do the trail all the way through there. According to the sign, we're on the Cambridge Greenway. This home was the former Jeffersonville Depot. The next objective was to ride 21 miles on the LVRT to Sheldon Junction. This would provide some of the best views of the entire trip. bridge across the Lamoille River had a center span that was a covered bridge. It's across the Lamoille River and we're back on the Lamoille Valley Rail Trail. We're going to be heading back towards East Fairfield and on to Sheldon Junction. From here we climb just over a mile until we pass a former quarry site and this unique double-decker bus. The double-decker bus transported folks from the parking lots to the entrance of Riverside Amusement Park in Agawam, Massachusetts. Today's Six Flags, New England. Route 108 marks.
Taxi into the short climb and from here it's a 21 mile gradual downgrade until we reach the MVRT at Sheldon Junction. time on our way back to East Fairfield. All right, that was East Fairfield. Now it's on Sheldon Junction. Chester A. Arthur, we're back. That means we still got a ways to go. Parade Road, is this where the cows parade? It might be. I see one cow out there. We just hit 50 miles. We're estimating around 60 to before we get back to camp. It's been a long day in the saddle. It's been fun though. I mean, the views here are just phenomenal. Vermont Historical Society is open seasonally on Saturdays. Be sure to check their website or Facebook page for operating hours. We just came from this way, Sheldon Junction, on the Lemoy Valley Rail Trail. The other day when we came through here, we started behind me and went this way towards uh, Lake Carmi. And that's where we're heading now. We can't get there soon enough. It's been a long day. Started this at 57.5 miles. This is the last climb for the trip up to the Lake Carmi State Park. And normally it's hard, but this time after 57.5 miles, it's cruel. Well, did 100 kilometers or 62 or 63 miles today back at camp. Pretty long day, very tired. Fantastic trip, I'll tell you. This was just 
the best. We got a lot of uh, gravel roads in. We got some more rail trail in today. We got to see Chester Arthur historic site. We got to see the town of East Fairfield and uh, Cambridge and uh, just a great time. The, the views were spectacular along the Lamoille Valley uh, Rail Trail. Um, just wide open spaces, stuff you don't see in Connecticut. Uh, one more day, tomorrow we pack up and leave and we're heading back to St. Albans. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and support the channel by subscribing or making a comment. Let me know where your favorite gravel adventures have been or the places where you want to go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.